Hey, Coach Tom here with Coach Elias. Today we're talking about after you hit the approach shot, yeah. what's next? You want to keep what? Pressing forward, right Elias? Yes, yes, you want to keep pressing forward. And the key thing is we want to focus on that split step right before our opponent hits the ball. Okay. We see a lot of players, they hit that attacking shot, whether it's in singles or in doubles, and they just rush to the net. They forget to split step. And the split step is going to be very helpful to keep the nice balance yeah. as well as being able to react. Yes. To yes. react better. I know. You know, if you if you don't do that split step, what happens is you have your weight moving forward. You know, you're going forward, and then all of a sudden your opponent hits out here, you're like off balance. You know, but when you do that split step, you can really get set up to hit the next ball. So um what are some key things you think about? You, you know, number one, you want to do that right before your opponent hits the ball. Yes, yeah. all right. So, yeah, and the other purpose of that split step is it, it keeps you nice and light on your feet. You know, you're not standing there flat-footed. You're coming up off, off the ground and you're landing on the balls of your feet and you're ready to move one way or the other. So, um, you want to demo that one for us? Yes, and I, and I want to give you another tip there. Okay, sure. Which is really important. Wherever, let's say we hit the first ball at the T-line, we see a lot of players, they hit that first ball at the T-line, and they're kind of just standing there. Yeah. So we want to focus on, regardless where you hit your first ball, we want to keep pressing forward, especially yeah. if you hit that ball around the T-line first one, we want to drive that one long, and then keep pressing forward so we get an easier volley, yes. which we can put away yeah. and use the angles, put those shots into the corner. Yeah. When you get closer to the net, you're going to have more angles. Exactly. And it might be a good time to hit what I call the bunt volley. Just hit a short volley. Take the speed off the ball and just bunt it. Hit it short. And it pulls your opponent in. And uh, that can work really well. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Here's a deep ball. It's a rally ball. He goes cross court. I chip this ball back and he sees it's going to be short. He starts moving inside the court right away. He takes this backhand cross court to the open court. Now he's moving in and right there he does his split step. I'm throwing up a lob here. So this split step allows him to put on the brakes and get ready for the overhead. Right there, he stops, he turns, he skips back, and he can make the play on the overhead. Okay, again, in slow motion, a rally ball here. Okay, that ball was pretty deep, but Elias decides to come in, and now he really has to take his split step right there, deep in the court. But again, the split step allows him to get himself under control and make this shot here. And now notice he keeps moving forward, and he's moving to the side of the court that the ball is on to make that backhand volley. All right, and as you guys could see on that volley, I had the first one near the T-line. I had to get really low, press it nice and long. And then I kept moving in forward in order to get the second ball a little bit higher on the net. And I was able to press it down into the corner. Okay, on this point, you're going to notice that Elias has very good timing with his split step. Short ball, he's coming in, split step, right before I'm going to hit the ball. This allows him to get his feet organized to make the volley. So if you guys can see, if I get caught near the T-line on my first volley, I want to press that volley nice and long, and then... I want to keep moving forward and I want to follow the ball. So let's say I'm over here, I'm hitting a cross court 
I'm hitting the cross course volley, I move in and I go for the second one. Key step, I want you to really focus on whether it's you, if you're playing singles or doubles is you hit that first volley around the tee line, you follow the ball and you keep pressing into the court. Ah. 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 And here we go. You guys see I'm that close to the net that I can even touch the net. But on the first volley, I had to hit it further back. I pressed the ball nice and long because I didn't have the angle. Now that I'm closer into the net, I had the angle and I was able to press it nicely into the, into the corner. Well, we hope you enjoyed that video. Please give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Elias, nice job of demoing thank, that. Thank you, Tom. You know what I really like about his demo, the way he kept moving forward. You hit the first volley, but you don't stop. You move through it and you keep getting closer. That's where you're gonna put the ball away. Exactly. Yeah. Make, make sure you keep practicing that. Yes. Whether it's, it's in your singles game or your doubles game, you hit that first volley and you follow the ball. Yeah. And you know, sometimes people will say, yeah, but every time I get close to the net, they lob me, <laughs> you know? <laughs> hey, yeah, your opponent may hit a good lob once in a while. You may have hit a lousy volley though. Yes. You know, exactly. if, you hit, if you hit a good volley, it's gonna be very difficult for them to control that and hit a nice delicate lob over your head. Okay, so remember, at the net, you win about 67% of the points when you press forward when you're aggressive yeah. all yeah. the best yes and uh, another another thing is like yeah. you said we get lobbed like tom said it's about that first volley pressing it deep into the corner you will see number one the chances of you being lobbed are going to decrease number two even if your opponent lobs it and you hit that first volley deep you have time for that shot yeah. to move back and hit the overhead yeah